Digging more into the details of a record setting project to put new express lanes on Georgia 400. Construction comes, though, with a $4 billion price tag. 11 Alive's Doug Richards reports the goal tonight is to ease one of the state's most gridlocked roads. Gridlock on Georgia 400 has wasted hours of Evan Kuykendall's life. Just last month, he says. Um, six hours, six, seven hours. This is kind of how it is in Atlanta. <laughs> It's always, always backed up, accident, road work, um, every day, seven days a week. It's a story state officials hear far too often. For years, they've tried to find a way to affordably add lanes of traffic to Georgia 400. This week, they think they found it. This was a tremendous win because the taxpayers are not going to have to fund the construction of this project. Russell McMurray uh, is the state the DOT commissioner. GDOT released this video to 11 Alive News after the state transportation board voted to approve a contract with a private entity that will build new express lanes and collect tolls on the lanes for 50 years. Better infrastructure, more infrastructure with uh, basically no additional taxpayer dollars needed. The new express lanes will be built for 16 miles in both directions from North Springs Marta Station to beyond McFarland Parkway. The tolls would fluctuate depending on traffic volume. Trinell Blewett says he'll try. Uh, they can clear it out and uh, stop some of these accidents from happening. Meantime, commuters will have to be patient. 2031 is the expected completion date. In Sandy Springs, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.